I'm Heather from Heather Handmade, and today I am going to teach you how to make shorts or pants from an adult um, item of clothing. This is a pattern that you can purchase on my website or on Etsy. It is on sale for the next week, so go and get it while it's on sale. The pattern has five variations. Um, there are mid-thigh shorts, bloomers, knee length shorts, pants with cuffs, or just straight leg pants. The pattern comes in sizes 2 to 10, and you can use almost any adult clothing to make either the shorts or the pants. It works with both woven and knit fabric. I actually have a free version of this pattern just for the um, mid-thigh shorts and the bloomers. It's for baby sizes. I actually developed that pattern several years ago when I was making um, shorts for my babies. I figured out how to reuse the hem of a t-shirt to easily make bloomers, but I have now expanded the pattern to have five views and way more sizes so it works for kids you know that are growing up. Explain a little bit of the details so that you can be able to make it yourself. So as you can see, this you know design is right here on the side of the thigh. It's really it's going to be really fun for my daughter to wear this and have this on the side. So I have two pieces that are mirror of each other. And what we're going to do is we are going to place them right sides together. like this and we are going to sew this front curve and this back curve with a 3 8 inch seam allowance with either a zigzag stitch or a serger. So I have these two seams sewn and the next thing I'm going to do is add elastic to this hem. I have two pieces of a quarter inch elastic cut down to six inches and this width will kind of depend on the width of your child's ankle. And you can see that this hem is much bigger than this elastic. So you can use a wider elastic if you have it. I have found most t-shirts are half an inch and a quarter inch elastic works best for that. So what you do is you take your safety pin and you're going to connect it to one side and I'm going to insert it. If you, you know, roll this with your fingers, you can see this opening in here. So I'm sticking this elastic right in to the hem and this hem is going to become a casing. So while you are pushing this safety pin inside, you need to pay attention to the end of this elastic because you don't want it to get lost inside. We are going to tack it before it goes all the way through. So I'm pushing this in and this is the exact same technique you will use for the bloomers. It's just a little bit longer than, it's a little bit wider to do the bloomers than the pants. So do you see how I have this elastic just poking out right here? So I'm gonna hold this in place and I'm gonna tack this with just a couple forward and backward stitches, straight stitches on my sewing machine. I'm gonna do it 1 8 of an inch from the edge and this is just to tack it in place before I sew this seam. So here's my safety pin and do you see this thread? This is stuck here with my elastic just right here. And now I'm going to pull the safety pin all the way, the rest of the way through the casing. And you're just going to start getting some gathers and some puckers as you um, pull this casing tighter. And that's okay, that's what we want, that's why we call it the cuffed 
you know, a cuffed pants with elastic hem. So you get your elastic to the other side, take off your safety pin, and you are going to put your elastic right here along the edge, just like we did on the other side, and do your, you know, a couple stitch for a couple stitches forward and a couple stitches backward, an eighth of an inch from the edge to keep that elastic in place and holding it tight. So this is how you add the elastic to the hem. You can see both of those stitches there. And what I like to do is I like to push the gathers into the middle before I do the next step, just to make the next step easier. And then once I've sewn the next step, I pull the hem, the ankle, and it will distribute the gathers uh, more evenly. So you can see that both of my hems have elastic down here at the bottom like this and this seam is sewn so what you do now is you are going to open this up and turn it and you get your pants it is now we are going to sew the inseam so this is right sides together and I like to push one seam allowance this way and one seam allowance the other way so that I don't have a bulky seam right here and we're going to sew this seam like this at 3 eighths of an inch with um, a stretch stitch either on your sewing machine or with a serger and when you go over this hem right here um, you need to make sure that you're lining up this edge and that you're catching this elastic so that it stays in the seam. So I have sewn this seam as you can see and if you pull the ankle like this it actually makes that um, elastic kind of distribute the gathers evenly so it's more spread out works really well and now what you're going to do I left these long tails it doesn't matter if you use a sewing machine because you would backstitch but since the serger doesn't have a back stitch, I am going to actually tack this seam allowance. You want to tack it so it's not going to um, be, you know, kind of poking out of this hem. So what you do is figure out which side is the back of the leg. I tuck my serger thread in here like this, and then I fold it to towards the back, and then from the front, I'm just going to tack just like I did with the elastic where I just go forward a little bit and come back a little bit and it is going to hold the seam allowance pointing towards the back and it secures those um, serger threads. Now you can see that I've tacked that in place. It's black on this side, but it's blue on this side so that you can see some of those stitches. We're gonna turn these pants right side out like this so you can see that fun design right on the side of the pants there's the cuff at the bottom like this and the next thing we are going to do is add elastic to the waist and that is the last step so I've cut this elastic to a comfortable measurement for my child's waist and I am going to overlap the ends by half an inch and you can do back and forth with a zigzag, you can sew a rectangle, whatever way you like to finish your elastic um, to secure it into a circle, you can do that method. So I've secured the elastic so it's in a loop and we are going to pin it to the pants. So divide your elastic into four sections. Now that I have this divided into four, I am going to match up my pins of my elastic and my 
the waist of the pants. Then I go through and I stretch the elastic and pin in between the sections so that it's all lined up. Now I'm going to do a zigzag stitch and I'm going to stretch the elastic to fit the waist as I sew and that is just the first stitch that secures the elastic to the waist. So I've attached the elastic to the waist with a zigzag so that it can still stretch and um, the next thing we're going to do is fold the elastic in once and sew it with a zigzag so that it's, um, you know, secure and the elastic or the zigzag makes it still stretchy. If you want, you can add a tag or a piece of ribbon to the back waist. This helps the kids be able to put it on and know what is the back of the waist, the back of the shorts or the pants. Um, I like to put it on before I fold it over once. So I sew it on on this side so that this, um, I'm not sewing through the actual pants. And then when I sew it like this, um, it's just right there, but you don't see it on this side. And here is the finished pants with the waistband in the elastic. You have this really cool design on the side of the leg, you know, up here by the thigh. And then the elastic at the hem just gives it kind of a modern look, you know, to have the ankle cinched in. And these are the finished pants with the, the saved design on the side and the cuffed at the bottom. This is a really fun project that reuses adult clothing to make pants for kids. You can use the same technique to make bloomers. You can find the link to the pattern in the description. I have a free pattern for babies and a pattern you can purchase for sizes two to 10. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day. I can't wait to see all of the shorts and pants and bloomers that you make.